Hi, everyone. Welcome. So glad that you're here. Happy fifth line day. The um, transiting energy frequency is a really lot to take in right now. So you'll notice that we have some emotionality. Also, the thing that we've been dealing with a lot of mental pressure and physical activity. So if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, like you're pulled in three different directions, no worries. This too shall pass. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to come into this space. Relax here with us. We're just going to be playing. Yeah, right, Robert, so much emotion right now. We're going to be playing with human design charts to come to the level of understanding about priorities is one of the places I want to take you because it's often very confusing when you're first new to human design, you might look at that chart and get overwhelmed by too much, not knowing where to focus. Hi, I happen to have a gate of focus, so I'll help you with prioritizing and focusing. So I don't see anything in the chat now, but I want to invite, I see AJ, Yaska, Agane, uh, Melissa, Naraya, Robert, Roxana, and Katja here. The person who um, gave us the chart, I have one chart selected so far, and that's Princess Di. She's not here. So I'll hold off on doing that and um, invite you, Nina. Hi, Nina. Invite you to go ahead and share with me a um, famous person's link. Now, if you don't have the famous person here, I will show you how to get some famous persons into your database. So just go to jovianarchive.com and... Uh, if you go to see, I think it's under MMI software. Let's find it. There it is. Famous charts. If you want all of these famous charts, just like me, I'm going to post this into the chat for you to hang on, on to and check out later. So go ahead and uh, download the collection and you'll see that you'll be able to import it into your MMI if you have either the free uh, version, student version, what have you, whether you have Maya Mechanics, this is the desktop version, or the online version, um, mybodygraph.com. Either way, that famous language or famous people pack downloads of all those charts will import into this. All you have to do is go up to file and click import, and then you're going to import charts from an MMI document right there. That's the one you want to select. And then you go and select the file, select the download that you just got. So that's the way on, um, on Maya. I'm not quite sure that I remember. It's been a long time since I've done this. Um, importing into MMI. Let's see if I can figure that out. Birth credit, user credits. No. Hmm. My body graphs. I know it's here somewhere, guys. might have to get back to you on that one, but there is a way to do that. So since I don't see anybody yet giving me some famous people, I'll just kind of go down the list. And um, if you see somebody that you really are interested in keynoting, now, if you if you are interested, if you know this person, you know, you're like, oh, I want to look at so-and-so because you're familiar with them. That's a better deal. That's why I'm not saying here, let's look at this chart. I'm wanting you to pick somebody that you have an identification with, somebody that you feel um, that you want to know more about and recognize why you see what you see. So just looking through this, anybody have anyone that they want to start with? Anyone that you love? I've done a lot of these over and over again. Princess Diana. Oh, Mari, I, I need to, let me just check if the person who asked for Princess Diana is actually here because I don't want to do it and then she shows up and then we don't do it. Yeah, she's not here yet. So I have to wait. Let's, let's pick somebody else. <laughs> okay. She's your fave too? Yeah, I've done that a lot. Okay, Freud. Where is he? Is he on here? Did I pass him? There he is. Okay. Let's take a look at Freud. All right. For those of you who are in analyst training. You'll have done this if you came to study group. If you didn't come to study group, then we haven't done this yet. So I'm going to guide you through how we would look at this chart. Of course, we always have type strategy and authority. That's a no-brainer. That's in living your design guide, right? Type strategy and authority. But then what is the next place our eye should go to? The next place that our eye should go to in evaluating a chart. Go ahead and type it into the chat.
Definition, formats. There we go. Formats. Thank you. Formats. Okay. So which format is more important to begin with, with regards to analysis? How would you prioritize these? Three. And tell me why three. And you guys can unmute too if you feel like it. I have it in a study group session. This is not a webinar. Other individual channels, we can see that that is an em emphasis, so a recurring theme. Absolutely. What else? Where is the three at? Priorities. North Node design. Mm -hmm. If I were to prioritize the unconscious design, the earth is the strongest activation, Ra's words, not mine, and the North Node is a relink node, or in rave cosmology terms, it is the one that is our fixed star where we come from. So you always want to, on the unconscious side, really put a lot of heavy weight on these first three activations. If any of those are a format gate, okay, the gate can be defined like this is, or it can be dormant. Either way, you want to look at that frequency first. So your eye should be drawn after looking at type strategy and authority, what's down here. So good job on recognizing that. So the next place that we go to, obviously, conscious personality over here. And because it's, it's not in the same frequency field as individuality or tribal, we know it's a little bit less of an element, but it still formats this human being to be all about the endings, the finishings of cycles of experience. Okay, so we know that that's something that's important with his values and his relationships. Uh, everything's going to be formatted into always coming to endings. Yeah, interesting. Oh, thank you for catching that, honey. See, I didn't even see that. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> that one too. Very, very important. Okay, so we have 42s, two of them. That's a lot of weight on a chart that everything in this person's life is going to be very much about bringing things to a close, cycles of experience to a close. So we know then that the influence, good word for that fourth line up there, the influence of this 42 and the role modeling of that which he is here to embody is about finishing things, not necessarily starting, but finishing. So the format frequency, what do we call this area of the body graph? What do we call it as far as the frequency itself? So what kind of format is that? There's my chat not working. I'm kind of surprised. Did I freeze? I'll turn off my camera. Collective. Thank you. What kind of collective? Ah, I froze. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'm turning off my camera. What kind of collective? Abstract sensing. There we go. That's why cycles of experience into a close. Okay, great job. So when you're looking at this priority-wise, what are some design dilemmas, the most important design dilemma with regards to this person's not self? What's going on here? He is a what kind of definition? Split. Therefore, where is his not self? I'll accept three different gates. No, wait, four, five. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, so I see 14, 29, 20, 48, and 10. Excellent job, you guys. It's a split definition. Therefore, he's designed to take in information through, what is the word we use for a split definition, basic split? How is he processing information? Collaboratively, excellent. Good job. So with regards to the not self purpose, how would you prioritize where this person's not self is going to be? Prioritize. Looking at their, mm-hmm, exactly. Can you tell me why you would go there, Alyssa, to point it out to everyone else? Um, it's the it's personality. The personality. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, Hello? it's the personality sun there. 
Can and you hear we me? also have Uranus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard. I hear you now. It's great now. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, the personality, uh, the two, and then the individual connection with the three in the format channel as well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Same frequency field. So we know they're going to be really drawn. So not self purpose. My mind thinks that I what? What's wrong with me if I'm Freud? I don't have. And I require, so I'm going to do what to get it? Resources, power skills. I'm going to work really hard, work really hard. Super slave, gate 14 is the gate of super slavery. In some places, Ross says the gate 29 is the gate of slavery. You could think of it like as in a lady you know, slaving after someone else. Uh, as far as like um, maybe a sex slave, I don't know. It's abstract, experiential. But the 14 is about work. Yeah, work, hard work. So my mind thinks that I need to work hard. And you could also start to keynote all these other places, but then it starts to get really complex. So what I usually do is just, you know, pick one. If you're going to pick another, we have another flow of energy here, right? Because we know we have our power flows towards the middle. So we're always looking from with an individual, we're looking from root to throat. And where is the energy wanting to go? Where is it pointed at? Where does, where does it flow? Okay. So another design dilemma, design dilemma with regards to this person consciously versus unconsciously. There's your key. What's another consideration we have to factor in? He's got a yes, tribe versus individual and is he consciously aware that he's tribal? That's the big deal. Okay. So what tends to happen with generators with regards to their response when it's unconscious, they will not necessarily hear their own response. They won't necessarily be aware of it. This is something that you as an advisor or a coach or a consultant, what have you, want to encourage and recognize in your client. <gasps> Did you hear that? You know, when you listen, I always do my best to remember to tell my generator clients, when you come back to listen to this over, you know, the course of time, because all emotional people, I do remember to tell them, come and listen to this again down the road and you're in a different mood at a different time, because you're going to take things in deeply at different levels of your emotional wave, because we need to get in contact with information over time in order to process and gain clarity. But with regards to an unconscious sacral person, you're going to want to encourage and recognize that person's sounds and their movement and their energy, their flow. Okay. So that's the design dilemma we've got here. So we've got, we've got a mind that thinks that he's got to work harder and be more committed in order to do what? That would be the first priority wouldn't it? For himself, value. Yeah. What's my value and my worth? More specifically, what is his mind going to tell him that he has to do? And you can see the connection between the mental conditioners. So I, um, in, uh, I keep trying to say International Human Design School, PTL1 students. What are the keynotes of that person's mind with regards to the heart center? My mind thinks that I have to what? In order to work hard and to prove myself, I have to be first. I have to have more courage. I have to be brave. Good words. Deliver. Yes, I have to provide. I have to deliver. And I got to shock. I got to be the one to go first because there's where the energy wants to flow. Always looking for where does the energy want to flow? Across the time and space boundaries of our imprinting and our mind where our mind wants to go is always the dilemma. Okay. The mind is always contaminated and distorted wherever the energy wants to flow and it doesn't do so consistently. All of you're looking at here is specificity and consistency. Every time you look at openness, you're looking at places where that person has an unreliability and yet their mind is lodged here. Their mind is identified with that. So if we were to keynote this area of the body graph, what is that? I am about two different keynotes we could use. BG5 keynotes, 
are similar, but human design keynotes are more esoteric. We're looking at the stream of the mystical way. So what would this person identify with that the other person lacks because this is a whole channel? What is that whole channel keynoted as, my friends? The problem with you is you're not awake. The problem with you is you don't follow higher principles, higher principles. Yeah, awake in the moment. That's the problem with you, says Freud. I'm going to psychoanalyze you because you obviously don't know how to behave. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where else can we go to have fun with this? The next place that I want to take you is another totally open center. What would that totally open center say that his mind needs to provide, find, and provide to others? My work in the world is all about providing you mental certainty. Exactly. So analyst trainees, what gate activations are the mental conditioners, mental conditioners that his mind identifies with as his to dole out to those who are less fortunate. <laughs> yes, insights and have answers. Excellent job, my friends. Rationalizations. Um, yeah, you could. Rationalizations is over here technically. But yeah, answers that, you know, are provided in order to provide internal knowing. Well, I know what's wrong with you. You're not awake. And you certainly aren't certain. So I'm going to provide my mental certainty of the answers and the insights that you need. I don't have his advanced chart, but <laughs> yeah. He's a six color for those of you who are in advanced classes. Six colors are what? Innocent. They're not trying to get other people to follow them. Not necessarily, although he is a leader from the expression of this channel right here. And he does have the ability when in response and emotionally clear to inform and create a new way of people looking at themselves with regards to uh, the collective world at large. That channel is the only channel that has that power to change the way the entire collective world views itself. Yes, that was rationalizations was 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why I went up there next as far as the hierarchy. So we went to with regards to this person's uh, tendency, we looked at the split briefly. We didn't keynote all of it, but we looked at some of it. Oh, that one goes to itself. <laughs> He's looking for personal empowerment. Okay. So with regards to that, what I just did there, I want to explain what I did. The mind wants to flow which, where, where it will connect with, up with energy. But this is integration, so it's very complex. And there's a lot of people out there who have the 3420, the most common generator channel. It's a manifesting generator channel, to be more precise and accurate. This is going to, because it's already there, it's not going to be as much of a draw, the 34, because these two are defined. Where there's going to be more of a draw, if I were to, to um, try and prioritize not self-purpose, I would go over here instead of over there first. Why? Because the open heart or the open anything, open centers, draw the mind to try and resolve the openness mentally, particularly when you've got a strategic mind, yeah, active brain. You've got somebody who's constantly trying to figure out self-value, self-worth, self-improvement, whole life, always about that, trying to find concepts to that you can be certain of. Now, on the flip side, you can have that wisdom. Absolutely. On the openness, we have the wisdom potential there. But what are we going to say about somebody, going back to analyzing the chart, with regards to that open head? Where is he going? What's going on? What's important? He is answering everyone else's yeah, he's doubtful. That's part of his illusion art spirituality. What's hidden from him? Questions. Absolutely. And why? Because he's pressured to try and find that answer. Question. Mm -hmm. He's here to question. So he's going to run around and two different thematics, either what or what mentally. Run around on everybody else's pressure trying to Because he's 
Yeah. Besides answer, what do we call it up here? No, certainty is here. And anxiousness is here. What do you do up here? It's the shiny object syndrome. Inspiration. Mm -hmm. And so what is the not self purpose? Yeah. And thinking about things that don't matter to you. Always remember to add that on. Okay. It's either losing focus because you're thinking about things that don't matter to you. So he's not thinking about the things that are important to him. What's important to him? What's actually important to him? Emotional wave, response, identity, or inspirational role modeling, right? The mind is not thinking about that. The mind is trying to go into the future and provide answers that give insights to resolve his fear of chaos, right? For his chaos, fear of rejection, mental rejection, people not getting him, not understanding him. Okay, excellent. Last place, where do we prioritize the not self purpose? What's going on down here? What does the mind think it's going to do? Yeah, it is a wow, Robert. Hurry! I don't have time to wait, which is in direct opposition with what, with what is true about this person. Yeah, always busy, 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 busy. The keynote of busyness is here. This one, under pressure. Always remember how much pressure this person is under. This is a pressure cooker design. So they're going to, mind is going to think it needs to, like Karina said, start things. What else? Where's it going to go? Rush up for something, correct things. And, you know, let's go over here first to the mental conditioners. Improve. Yeah, improve is also possible. But this is, this is the body and it's, let's see, values for relationships, for improve relationships. So that actually is correct for him. To initiate out of trying to improve, not correct. But to correct because he loves life and wants to improve it for others, that's his way of loving? Absolutely. So the not self-purpose, starting things, what else? Tell me my mental conditioners. Where, 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 where did we prioritize? Yeah, there we go. Provoke to transform materially. Okay. Provoke. Ambitious. There we go ambitious, but we still didn't prioritize where we started off. If this is a priority, where's that other three? Was there another three? No, there was just one. Okay. This is a priority. What's going on on the other side? Mental conditioner. I feel, what is the word for 60? Limited. Thank you, honey. I feel limited. Ordering is the three. That's right for him. I feel limited. I feel frustrated. I feel stuck. I can't get out of this old, not evolved way of being a human being. We've got to provide some mutation, hey? So the pressure of the physical form, hurrying for no good reason, pressure of the mind, answering everybody else's questions, the wounding, hmm, let's see. I could say, the sensitivity, the sensitivity of the ego, the fragility of the ego, and the inconsistency of the mental conceptualization process leads one to develop a way of looking at people that helps them feel better about their ego, perhaps. How's that landing with you guys? Make sense? Now we just looked at the not self, mostly. And that is the most important thing you can do for a client to help shatter their mind's hold on their identification with who they think they are so that they can see how important it is to follow their decision-making strategy because we cannot get ourselves mentally out of this conundrum of the mind and its distortion ever, period. So instead of forcing through frustration, to trying to be first, to trying to provide and prove. Instead of forcing because the mind says we must do, 
It's a totally different movie when we go here and here through our type strategy and authority. Okay. So who would like to practice keynoting the true self? I'm going to turn it over to you if you'd like to practice. If you feel like it, it's up to you though. And if you would like my feedback, you're welcome. This is what this is for. Practice, practice. Just scrolling up to try and find there was another. You wanted to look at Jada Smith next. Another person. Cute. Okay. Scrolling down. Not ready yet. Okay. No problem. Analyst trainees, you like taking a gander at this? Overwhelmed right now. Yeah, it can be really overwhelming. That's why I'm I'm stepping it up down a notch to, you know, step you through how do we analyze this. So let's take a look together. You will do it, Karina. Okay, great. Awesome. Go ahead and unmute and let me know. Okay. Do you hear me? I hear you. Okay, let's do it on the spot. <laughs> 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 so uh, let me see where it hangs. All right. Okay. So that person, true self, is a inspiration. It's an inspiring role model, and what grants him is the creative expression as well mm -hmm. of the uh, what grants yeah creative expression and. Uh, making mistakes on the material plane with mm -hmm. the creative expression. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what else I can add? Yeah, his personality son is uh, in the gate of direction. Mm -hmm. I don't know the detriment, but uh, how can I say it? Yeah, his direction in life uh, is inspiring for others. Um, yeah that when I went first because this is the mm -hmm. sun and earth yeah okay. okay so the person is here to respond and provide the direction for others through his response mm -hmm. uh, to the needs for the tribe as well mm -hmm. okay and after being clear with the emotional wave. <laughs> so ah, on the spot is much harder than it's in it my head. Really is. It really is. <laughs> oh my is. God, to say yeah. it, yeah, to say yeah. it, yeah. Because I kind of, um, all right. So he's here to respond after being emotionally clear and to respond to the to support for the needs of the uh, of the tribe of his own tribe mm -hmm. um, um right and being individual and mutative with his emotional uh clarity as well as uh, the response uh, and uh, his direction is uh is inspiring for others I can uh, he can give the direction to others for being individual uh, yeah uh, mutative inspirational uh, I forgot the name inspiration yeah channel of the creative role model right yeah inspiration mm -hmm. yes true self so he is as well here to be a listener mm -hmm. mm through the listening and uh, uh, being role model. Uh, although 13.6 is from role gates, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I've got the keynote, uh, the gate of the listener, but in this, ah, the optimist, right? Of course, mm -hmm. because he's also the sixth line. Uh, yes, and he is here to, uh, to provide the direction also through the listening of others which kind of seems correct now i see i forgot it's right <laughs> uh, and being a leader right yeah okay i think i will stop now because i got a little great. bit yeah confused great. yeah it's okay i don't know what i can okay <laughs> 
great practicing. Good job. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, so you as you watched that, you might have noticed, you know, her choice in going up to the sun earth as a channel first. And you always want to make sure if you do that, that you really re emphasize these things. Oftentimes people remember what you told them first and what you told them last. So what I tend to do is I begin with what I really want them to remember. And then I come back, back around to it and I touch it several times throughout the reading. So just re repeating yourself is not a bad thing. I'll of oftentimes people go, Oh, well, I, I, I felt like I'm repeating myself and I'm repeating myself. And well, you know, there it's some of it's brand new language and you're pinging the keynotes of what's true for them. And you might say it in a different way. And you might, you know, instead of what we did, which we was um, we we went through and we analyzed all the not self. What you might do is a weaving where you take one piece of the not self and you describe the dilemma. And then you come back to, but when you wait for your response to be emotionally clear and empowered, you know, adding on the keynotes of the streams, emoting when you're in the mood to, you know, emote or, or talk about what you can try or what, what is uh, important for you, all of those things that you just, you're telling them a story about what's actually happening over and over again, cycles in their life. So that can really help be supportive of somebody to have them come away with something that they can work with. This person's looking for strategies. This person's only going to remember so much. They're going to remember certain things that really land with them, hit, hit their, um, resonate with them, you know, and the emotional system is the thing that is the limiting factor because let's say Freud is not actually in a mood to listen to you. <laughs> we have one of the, uh, deaf to the deaf channel gates there. The actual deaf gates themselves are, are here, but maybe he's just not in the mood to listen to you. He's angry. He's upset, what have you. So no matter where a person is on the emotional wave, this one's a flat, nothing happening. But if you get him in a bad mood, you know, he's sped and got a part, uh, speeding ticket. <laughs> They're not necessarily going to hear everything that you have to say. So redundancy in your um, recordings do make sure that you have them record and you just in case you never know. Um, I've had <laughs> that happen a long time ago. Do not want to ever wish that on my worst enemy where you have to do a reading all over again because you don't have a recording. <laughs> kind of a bummer. Okay. So we have next, I see Jada Pinkett Smith. So I would love to see Melissa. If uh, there's something like a reason you want to tell us a little bit more about why this person Um, I don't really have that big of a reason. I've been watching her talk show and okay. uh, I just looked at like all of their charts, the whole family, and I mm -hmm. like Jada's because she's a projector. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay. And this is um, Will Smith's wife. Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. okay. Yeah, I do like her. All right, guys. So what are we going to prioritize? We see no format gates, so we don't go there. But what, where do we go next? What is this person all about? Where, where is the priority with regards to you want to start with this and you want to end with this? Emotional authority, what kind? tribal. Mm -hmm. Is this person going to react well to forcefulness or being rude or being abusive? We know we need to be kind and gentle and compassionate with this design, don't we? Because they're sensitive. So with regards to priorities, where are you going to go first without, with regards to the not self mind? Besides, we know type strategy and authority. I'm wanting to take you further than that. So where do we go? Where is the not self mind? Very focused in this one. A couple different places. 22. Absolutely. Freaking lootly. And that's why. Because the sun earth there and where else 
not earth, but sun. There we go. Yeah. This cross, cross of Eden. Yeah, here to bring about Eden. Mm -hmm. This is where we have the not self meeting up with her design, her specific configuration. So the not self purpose lodged in, I feel like a change. I feel like a new experience. So identifying with making progress. Something's wrong. I can't make progress fast enough or I'm bored. I need a new experience. Then we have the 22, which is about what? Openness and grace, but what will it bring as an experience within the body, their body being the life? The body is going to be what? In not self. I need to make a decision because I'm, I'm too, and I, I feel uncomfortable. I'm too sensitive. I need to make a decision quickly because I feel nervous. There we go. Uncomfortable, nervous, nervous. I feel nervous. I've got to get out from under this pressure because remember the mind doesn't know that it's emotionally defined. The mind thinks that it is spontaneous. Okay. Now 58 keynote for this, because it is part of the stream of what, what does Jada's mind has? Yeah. Taste for her mind has a taste for logic and correcting patterns. Yes. I am going to improve you. I love you. Let me correct you. So in the not self, Jada is a bitch, right? <laughs> not correct bitching in the not self, really overly critical of partner. Okay. Or self 18, too much self-judgment. So the mind thinking, oh, I've got to improve myself, particularly when you've got an undefined heart center there. So where do we go next? We prioritize the not self there, there, and there. I would, I would say one more mental conditioner that turns on a center that is probably one of the banes of her <laughs> existence. AJ said, poor Will Smith. Okay. Not 56, not yet. We're not going to Ashna yet because priority wise, we have the one, two, three punch right here. So where do we go first? If this was undefined to her mind, it is. Really makes sense considering her red table talk show series. Yeah. What is it about Nina? Cause I haven't watched that 37. Excellent job, Melissa. That's exactly where I wanted you to go. Can you say more to that for us, Nina? Are they, are they walk, talking around bitching at each other? <laughs> Patterns correcting relationships. Okay. Well, and you know what? With regards to relationships, that's where her sun shines. So that is part of her purpose, bringing forth a new Eden with regards to relationships. Yeah. Intimacy. That's where she's learning about the trials and tribulations of making mistakes in intimacy and um, in sexuality on the other side. So 49, 1949 wants to go to 3740. Absolutely. Because that is a stream. We have a stream of sensitivity. So then what's going to turn on the heart quickest is that 37 coming in. So that 37, a mental conditioner. My problem is I have to be more of a friend, better friend, a better family member. I have to hold traditional roles or, you know, rejecting traditional roles because it's inconsistent. So Melissa is saying she has an intimate, vulnerable, oh, she has intimate, vulnerable conversations with people on her talk show three with three generations, her mom, herself, and her daughter, her tribe. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. I don't keep up with common uh, what's going on out there in the world. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. So where's our value? Well, in relationships, really important. Look at, she's here to communicate about delivering on one's promises. Oh, Mari's saying it's only on Facebook, very power, powerful show all about others' relationships and her own family. Wow, sounds like it's find, she's finding her way, hey? That's wonderful, I'm glad to hear that. Makes me feel happy. So does she 
bring up, I lose myself in relationships or we lose ourselves in relationships. <laughs> Look at, she's here to help provide direction. Wisdom. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. See, Melissa's saying an abuse, violence, addiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because what are the most, wh who's usually responsible for killing a wife in a domestic violence? Oh, I just said it. I said wife killing the woman in domestic violence. It's the man who started out as her lover. Good Lord. Okay. So we have a not self of the mind thinking that I have to initiate some new direction, new course of action, new way of being, because I need to prove my value and my worth. How I'm going to do that, says my mind, is I've got to be a better friend. The 40 is learning. Remember, anytime you have an undefined center, learning about the influence of uh, being a provider or per delivering on one's promises. And that's what she's here to communicate. That's really cool, you guys. Thank you for bringing this. Where are we going to go next? She talks a lot about aloneness. Aha, the gate of aloneness. Good call. She talks a lot about aloneness. Do we know fourth lines get lonely? Why? Because they need aloneness. Yeah, they have all these friends around and yet they need aloneness. There's another aloneness gate. Meditation. Having those hard topics hard conversations and bringing up topics that people, other people sweep under the rug. Yeah. Three fives. They're not afraid to confront the shit. <laughs> yeah. You, being able to be in the thick of the emotions with others. Uh-huh. Yeah. Being supportive of their emotions. You know, the 19, let's see where hers at. Oh, Mars. That's a good one. Fighting for the tribe's safety, security, well-being. You know, this is survival emotionally generationally, you know, within the, the context of everybody in the tribe being equal as far as um, needing the resources, there's another resource gate for you there. And 19s, um, like protect the tribe. They're defenders of the tribe. So that's where she's got energy, her Mars. Oh, cool, you guys. I love this. Okay. Yeah. And then, so rather than going, we go one, we had the, the split, which was technically the one. So we won, one, one here, two, three. We could talk all kinds of stuff down here, but we did it in general. Let's go. To, I'm helping you practice the priorities of the not self purpose. So where would we go next? Those of you who know. Yeah, 56 would take us to the Ajna. That's where I'm wanting you to, to focus on. And the design earth being wanting to be activated. Excellent. So we'll go here. And what is the mind? So instead of talking about this, talk about the mind and its conditioning. So 56 and 47, what would you say that would really ring true for this person? My mind thinks that life is and that we need to, yeah, uh-huh, oppressive, futile, we, we need to make, we want to make sense of things. So let's talk about our stories of the past. Let's talk about what happened. Let's make sense of it. And what are we trying to find? The mind is going to go to, tell me the not self purpose of an undefined ashna. This is undefined, not totally open. pretending to be certain, uh -huh. arguing their points, not being flexible mentally, trying to be certain about some things. Yeah. What makes sense? Push, pushing. Is that what you're saying, Robert? Certainty, pushing their certainty out into the world, arguing. This is where we have arguing and fights, conceptual fights. Yeah. Excellent. So then we go up to here. And what would you call the not self purpose of the head. Pressure. Under pressure. Think about things that don't matter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Don't matter to you, your tribe, the collective world, the patterns of organizing society, what you identify with, and so forth. Yeah. Now, last. We're going to the sacral. And because this is a projector, sacral is everything. Oh, yeah, can't focus. Thank you, Nico. Losing focus. Absolutely. So what is the not self-purpose of the sacral center? 
not self-purpose of the sacral center, where would you go first? Not knowing when enough is enough, don't know when is enough, when enough with regards to try and so absolutely overdoing it, overdoing it, overdoing it and work. But what is her son pointed at with regards to this? 59. There you go. Okay. First things first, in the not self, this person would be looking around trying to have babies and sex and not knowing when to stop. This is where you get really raw. <laughs> and you ran out of condoms and you don't care. And it does. He have the 59 six. Okay. That's a challenging relationship. Oh, poor thing. I'm saying poor thing to Jada, not to him because she's the one that's getting her son compromised and in a relationship that is painful to a projector. Okay. So we, we prioritized here. How else can this not self mind show up? Okay. Relational wounding. The other last chart we looked at didn't have this, but there's a mental relational wound right here. So I would probably go here next. Okay saying yes, persevering, committing, absolutely committing love. The, the love of the body is her relational wound. And so over committing, saying yes to everything. Uh -huh. Yes to more sex, even though I'm sore and I'm raw and I'm probably going to have whatever if we don't have uh, protected sex, babies or whatever. And then let's see, I don't see any more mental conditioners here. She talks about eating disorders and being addicted to working out. Oh, interesting. Now you've got me curious. Let's add her to my library. I don't know if I have her. I do not. Okay, so let's go to my body graph. Whenever we talk about eating disorders, we don't have to do that yet. Jada, I always look to see what their large, since we're not, we don't have time for another one of these, I'm just going to play with hers a little bit more. New cycle chart. Whoops. How, is she my age? What is she around now? No, she can't be. She might be in her Chiron, huh? Oh, yeah. She's in her Chiron. Oh, well, look at that. Her Uranus had the whole channel. See the 55? Eating disorders. Okay. You always look for the 55. Let's do a new cycle chart and see if that's something that she's working with in Chiron as well. Absolutely. You see that, guys? I love human design. It's so much fun. <gasps> the things as sh things she's experienced is blurry. Oh, my is my uh, chart still blurry right now? Better now? Okay. Sometimes it's a internet thing. So Uranus had the fifty five in the whole channel. Chiron, look at that. We have we have that fifty five is emotional eating anywhere you have anorexia, bulimia, um, you know, try it's the feeling of emptiness. Remember, this is emotional system is always about that full to empty the emotional wave rises up and down. So oftentimes with the 55, we find people trying to fill the void with food. You got it in an undefined center, even worse. Yeah. Emptiness to fullness. Good job. Okay. Oh, Anything else that we want to say about, oops, that was, that's Sigmund Freud. Let's go to, back to Jada. Uh, did we do everything? I think so. Okay. Who would like to finish us off with keynoting Jada's chart, her true self? Because that all was um, mixed in. Overwhelming, but awesome. I'm glad you're getting some out of this, Robert. I know it's, um, it's a lot to take in. When we step it down a notch and go slowly, it can be much easier. And you do this often enough. It's just your eyes start to move in a certain pattern. Like, okay, go here and then go there. Let's talk about this. Let's come around back to that, that kind of thing. So uh, my analyst trainees or anybody who feels comfortable with, um, you know, just channel keynotes, really, your channels. Channels are the life force. You want to talk about somebody's true self Describe their channels. We've only got two here. I'll make it easy. We'll go ahead. Can I? Yeah, of course. Okay. So um, she's a sensitive, talented, 
person mm -hmm. who Perfect. has a taste for repeating patterns and making them better. Mm -hmm. um, she probably has tried different ways of experiencing relational conflict mm -hmm. um, and different ways of going through emotional crises, like experiential messy ways. Mm -hmm. um, Third line, trying, trial and error, uh, darkening of the light with the 36. You don't have to go deep. Come, uh, since we didn't talk about design dilemmas with regards to splits and red and black, would you like to tell me what this configuration is telling us about her? She might wanna be very spontaneous and quick with um, how she, improves or changes the um, pattern that she has a taste for, mm -hmm. but it's actually better if she can wait out her emotional wave um, mm -hmm. that will be very sensitive to the touch of her tribe. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, you did great with the experiential. And only other thing I might add in a real quick, like superhuman keynoting is how uh, revolutionary, different, unique, her perspective, her take on things, her, um, you know, being a projector, having a big picture view, what needs to be improved, all of those wonderful things that we can say about both being a five and being a projector. Being a split, we know that it's about the relation and her son being over in that quarter of the wheel with, with regards to duality, you know, her Godhead is harmonia. So it's about the um, harmony of the marital relationships, potentially we've got, do we have Parvati in there? Let's see, 15, 52, 39 and 53. We don't, we don't, that's also marital things. But what do we have going on here? 59. I was just checking for what she's the work she's doing right now. She has the 52. So that's something new there that she's working with. Very cool, you guys. Thank you so much for coming to class today. Uh, oops, doesn't change anything, but if anyone's, it'll come in handy. Okay. She shared that she was born at 1238. Let's go change that. Thank you for catching the details. My one threes are great at that. Uh, edit. Yeah, absolutely. Really helpful. Um, 1238. Okay. So isn't it Mari? It's one of my favorite things to do. You guys, I really love this. I'm, I'm happy to connect up different groups of, of students to come whenever it's correct for you. So great job today. Next week, we're going to do the same thing and we'll work with princess Diana provided that person shows up to uh, talk about a little bit, because you, you see how I should have done this with you, Robert, um, asked a little bit about why or, you know, what was important to you. I think most of us knew Freud well enough to kind of get a, a take on him. But what I what I like about this kind of environment is you guys bring a person you bring in just um, like we saw witnessed happening experiences of what this person you, you observe about this person. And then we can link it right up to the body graph. And that is the funnest thing ever to do with people in person. You know, you talk about things and you validate them and they, it, it helps them feel recognized and seen and valued and appreciated and all those wonderful things. So thank you so much for coming um, and sharing with us. And oh, yes, looking at how that person might bridge your split or what's really important to you. Oftentimes we look out at people in the world. When I get hooked on an actor or an actress, I usually go and look at their chart and go, okay, do I have some connection here? Is this why I'm really fascinated with this person? Of course, projectors are fascinated with people, but yeah, good job. All right. Same time, not next week. I think it's the week after next. Hey, yeah. And for those of you who are in classes, shall see you soon. If you're not in classes and you want to, we have an LYD guide training coming up next month and also a PTL1 coming up next month. Take care, my friends. Yeah, Mari, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.